Meghan Markle and Prince Harry could decide to end a 30-year-old tradition and leave their young son Archie home when they travel to Africa this autumn, royal commentator Camilla Tomini suggested. Meghan Markle and Prince Harry will travel to Angola, South Africa, and Malawi later this year to promote the work of charitable campaigns the couple support. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex are believed to be considering whether their son Archie Harrison could accompany them to Africa in the autumn despite his young age, as the boy will be around five months old around their departure date. Royal commentator Camilla Tomini claimed Meghan and Harry may put an end to a long-standing tradition of taking young children on royal tours because of the challenging terrain the couple could encounter in Africa. Speaking to Nine News, Miss Tomini said, I think some of the terrain is probably quite challenging, because he'll still be under one, he'll only be a few months old. Yes, we saw Prince William and Kate famously take George to Australia when he was only nine months old. That followed in Princess Diana's footsteps of taking William on an early tour. Could this be too soon? I think they're going to have to wait it up and wait up the timing of it all. At the time they are 50-50 on that one. Prince William and Kate, Duchess of Cambridge visited Australia with a nine-month-old Prince George in 2014. The Duke and Duchess of Cambridge followed in the footsteps of the Prince and Princess of Wales, who went on a tour of Australia and New Zealand when William was less than one. Meghan Markle and Prince Harry are however expected to pay tribute to Princess Diana's legacy in Angola. The Duke is said to want to fulfill some of his late mother's work and is keen to spend a prolonged period of time in Africa after visiting the Kuando Kubongo region in Angola in 2013. Princess Diana visited the African country to promote the work of the Andy Landmine Campaignman's Advisory Group. The Princess of Wales provoked the fury of British politicians when she called for a global ban on anti-personnel mines, a reaction which left the royal feeling devastated. Speaking on International Mine Awareness Day in 2017, Harry had spoken of his mother's work on banning landmines in the last months of her life. Harry added, some believed she had stepped over the line into the arena of political campaigning, but for her this wasn't about politics. It was about people. She knew she had a big spotlight to shine, and she used it to bring attention on the people that others had forgotten, ignored or were too afraid to support. Moreover, in tribute to her grandson, the Queen appointed Harry as a Commonwealth Youth Ambassador last year in a sign of his importance in the Queen's legacy.